Hi, I'm Chanel Sagarius Bruce. Smiley. I didn't like the clapping. <laughs> Sorry, Molly. Go upstairs, boy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chanel Sagarius Bruce, and I help you to get out of idea and into action. Did you know that it takes three seconds for somebody to judge your brand? So if somebody comes to your website, it takes three seconds for them to decide whether or not they like you, whether they want to find out more, whether they find you intriguing. Think about it for a second or three. Um, it's pretty quick. So you need to make sure that what you have and what you're putting out there is going to be of the best possible quality for you at the moment. So know that you've got to start somewhere. We all start somewhere. But then at a certain point, it is time to start looking at what does your website look like? How old is it? What do your pictures look like? And something else that I, I like to tell my private coaching clients is also look at your other social media channels. So the same thing applies for Instagram. So if you look at your Instagram grid, remember that when somebody new comes to look at your grid, it's gonna take them three seconds to decide whether or not they would wanna follow you. That's why your grid is so important. So I want you to align what's on your Instagram, what's on your Twitter, your Pinterest, your Facebook, your personal Facebook profile even. All of that needs to align with your personal brand. So this can actually apply to people if you've got a job too. Know that all employers, the first thing they do is they go and look at your social media. So it's not just for entrepreneurs, but obviously I work with a lot of entrepreneurs. So remember that when you're interacting, say in Facebook groups, for example, uh, you are interacting there as yourself, as your personal profile, not your business profile. So if your business page looks great, but actually your personal profile looks kind of amateurish and um, if, especially if you are in you know, the photography industry, wedding industry, branding, web design, anything like that where you are helping businesses with uh, you know, visuals or anything like that, it's really important that your personal uh, Facebook profile looks looks professional as well. An actionable step you can take right away is to really make your personal Facebook profile look professional, obviously still authentic, but you know, really step it up a bit. There's a few places you can do it. The banner image across the top, the professional picture, the profile picture, make that a professional shot and make that the shot uh, that's going to be across all your social media channels so you become instantly recognizable and then there's the five feature images on the left hand side I actually have those as a really nice family shoot that we had done because that's part of my brand you know I'm a mom I run a business um, so it's part of who I am and it's um, you know part of what I share so making sure that it looks really good and just being really aware as well of what you're posting on your Facebook wall so it's all connected your brand is connected Connected. So it's how you connect with other people, but it's also, um, you know, how they feel connected to you and it takes them three seconds to decide. So just be really aware of what you're sharing on your wall, what you're posting on your wall. Um, I turn off automatic tagging so people can't just tag me and things so I get to approve those and I also a really good tip is I put people into lists on my Facebook friends so you can create friends lists and those can be friends and family people from certain areas they can be um, you know I've got photographers wedding planners coaches uh, retouchers all the different industries that I've been in over the years and everybody is in you know different lists so that if they is something that I really don't think people will be that interested in I can just show it to the specific people that I want to see the content and it just makes more sense that way so a little bit of time action step go do that now make sure that your personal profile on Facebook looks inviting looks professional make sure that if somebody was going to take three seconds to decide whether to friend you or not 
would they or wouldn't they? Um, same thing for your um, professional Facebook page, your Instagram profile. What does your grid look like? It's going to take people three seconds to decide whether or not to follow you. So that grid has got to look good. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at Sagarius Bruce. And I also have a private Facebook group. It's called Build Your Brand Online. We have a wonderful group of women in there. Everyone, a lot of us actually know each other. Um, we go way back, but then there's also an influx of people all the time who come in there. It's a really great vibe. Um, so do come and join Build Your Brand Online. It's my private Facebook group. Put yourself in your client's shoes. If they were to come to your website for the first time, what would they think? Like, have you kind of skimped a little bit on the, on the website? Just be honest with yourself. Is your website more than a year old? With the way that technology is moving these days, um, there's new things that are coming, there's new layouts, um, there's a change of how websites look now. So you need to honestly look at that and go, right, in a business, you've got to budget at least once a year to have a revamp, whether that be of your photographs for the website, a revamp of the website, or a total rehaul. Um, I actually launched my a uh, new coaching website was just over, oh, it was about a year ago. So I've redone mine recently, and that's SagarisBruceCoaching.com. It's really important to upgrade those brands. I have three brands. The other brand is our photography business, which my husband mainly does now. But again, I've taken everything that I've learned from coaching, from personal branding, and I've applied it to the photography site. So if you go to sagarisbrucephotography.com, you'll see that that's also a personal brand, that we're sharing our story, that there's pictures of us, there's pictures of Craig and I on the beach barefoot, because that's how we literally spend most of our time. Our house is across the road from the beach, and we are connecting with those clients. So the people that are booking Craig now for weddings are people who are having beautiful, relaxed beach weddings in our area, and that's suits us down to the T. So remember that the brand has to connect really quickly with the right people. So what do you want to attract? Who do you want to work with? And then how do you create a brand? How do you create a brand that instantly attracts those people? So again, it's being connected. It's you connecting to them and them feeling connected to you. Head over to SagarisBruceCoaching.com and join the conversation over on the blog. Scroll down and find the blog post with the video and leave a comment. Come and find me over on Instagram at SagariusBruce where I love to share my life, inspiration, and get to know you. I also have a private Facebook group called Build Your Brand Online with an engaged group of women entrepreneurs who all help one another and I do a lot of training videos in there so come and join Build Your Brand Online over on Facebook.